taking my uh, selenium because I like to see like what are the results of certain things and what could be some effects of it or negative effects or just try so uh, I stopped taking the selenium I haven't taken it for a couple of days and uh, I need to throw this away that's my juice left over from my pickle juice uh, I, I might cut some onions up in there or some garlic. <laughs> yes. Uh, I um, stopped taking the selenium because I wanted to see something. And since I have stopped taking the selenium, I, want, I wasted my juice on the floor. Since I stopped taking my selenium, for the last couple of days, I noticed that my bladder is not as weak. So, I think, like when you start taking vitamins and stuff, you have to get a balance. And just because you find out that you need a certain supplement or a certain vitamin, don't mean that you need to take it in a supplement form because you have to find out if you are getting enough of that in your dietary do you, through your diet so uh i know that most of us don't get enough iodine in fact all of us probably don't get enough iodine so you need iodine in your diet because we don't eat enough foods that contain iodine but we might eat enough foods that contain selenium so even though you need selenium and iodine to work together if you're getting selenium through your food then you do not need to take a supplement I think I might be getting enough uh, selenium in my diet, so that means I don't need to take a supplement. When I first started taking the selenium, I was taking one every day. And then I was like, let me go to every other day. So now I've taken the selenium, stopped taking the selenium altogether. I want to see what that does. And then if I need selenium, if I think I need to start back taking the supplements, I'll take one per week. Because I think I'm probably getting enough selenium in my diet. And I don't think that I need the selenium supplements as much as I need the iodine. So I've taken the selenium out of my diet. I'm going to see how or out of my routine i'm going to see how that works out for me but i have noticed that i'm having less bladder issues with the selenium being out of my diet and i have replaced the selenium with the black seed oil which i was going to do that anyway and the black seed oil is really 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 working my garter is shrinking i haven't i put the black seed oil on my neck the last couple of days but i didn't take it i think i've missed taking it one or two days but i'm gonna take it today as soon as i eat because you're supposed to take it with food but right now you guys i am getting ready to take me a van life back i warmed up the water earlier and i got one burner on it says 114 back there. We know it's going to be, the temperature is going to be different over here. 
but I warmed up me some water. I don't know if it's still warm. Let me check. Yeah. It done got a little cool. But I warmed up me some water. So, I'm going to put that back on the fire. I'm going to bring my thermometer over here. Oops. And first thing I'm going to do is wash my face and brush my teeth. Usually, I do it the other way around because uh, after I brush my teeth, I can't use that water to bathe. But I got enough water where I can let that out. So I'm gonna wash my face. Brush my teeth. I'm really getting a late start today. And I had planned on waking up early and getting a early start, but it didn't work out like that. I should have some toothpaste over here. Oh, there it goes. And my facial cleanser should be there but I don't see it so let me get my facial cleanser out of my bag oh I think I had is that the one no. but anyway y'all I am going to Wash my face, brush my teeth, and clean my butt. <laughs> clean my butt. Y'all, some people try to order oh, feel so good. Mm. Oh, that is warm and inviting. And it's so good. So good. Oh, it feel good. Some people try. Some people are so used to playing game, running game on people. They even try to run game on God. And you can't run game on God because he know your heart. So, I don't know why people try to run game when God can see straight through you. And when he have people that serve him, he going to allow them to see through you too. So, I don't understand it. I'd rather be right with God for real in my heart all the excess whatever I do to my face I try to do it to my hands by taking the excess and just do it to my hand and just because you live in a van don't mean that you cannot thoroughly do everything that you do in home life I still am going to clean myself properly regardless of me living in the van. So. But I don't understand people trying to play God and trying to pimp God and trying to pretend to be right with God when at the end of the day 
it take more effort to pretend than to actually be right with him. And at the end of the day, where does pretending get you when God come back and you not right with him? Like, and don't just try to get right with God in one aspect of your life, but still do stuff that you know not right. Like, people really, really, really be trying to play God, but the only person they playing is themselves. You shortchanging yourself. You playing yourself, nobody else. And the people that you fronting and pretending for, they ain't even worth it. They not nobody. They ain't even worth it. They don't even have a heaven or hell to put you in. Who cares what people think about you? I don't care nothing about people. I don't care if people like me or dislike me. Of course, people going to dislike you more for your opinions when you try to do things according to the standards of God because the world has turned away from God and the world don't stand for the things of God. So of course when you stand for the things of God the world is going to oppose you. People are going to oppose you. That's why you can't do things for the praise of people. See? That thing that dropped already. If you do things for the praise of people, then nine times out of ten, you're not doing things to appease or please God because people don't approve of the things of God. So how can you please people and please God at the same time? You can't. You got to be more, more concerned about pleasing God than pleasing man. So I don't care what man have to say about me. I don't care what man think about me. Uh, I don't care if everybody in the world turn against me. I don't care if everybody in the world attack me. I don't care if everybody in the world allow me. At the end of the day, if I am pleasing to God and if God approves of me, that's all that matter. So, everybody else can kiss my grits. I never go with the crowd if the crowd is wrong. I never go with the crowd if the crowd is against the things of God. So, I don't need the praise and the applaud of men. Every time I wash my face, y'all, or take a bath, I clean my ears, my nose. It's just part of the plan. I got grits on this towel, y'all. I put grits in my exfol in my cleanser to exfoliate my skin. So that's what y'all see on my face is grits. My skin is not as perfect and clear as y'all think it is. And I usually use Ambi on my face to get rid of the dark spots because I buzz bump. I don't care about the dark spots, y'all. Uh, if I get a bump on my face, I'm busting it. Period. I ain't leaving it there. I can't stand for bumps to be on my face. So I bust them. And I'll 
<laughs> treat the dark spot. But I'm busting the bump. I'm trying to get them grits off of me. So, I'm going to wash my face one more time and go in between my eyes. And y'all, the Bible say when you choose to go the route of righteousness, you're going to be attacked by others. It's just, it's just common knowledge. You can't look for, you, you can't ask yourself, why are people attacking me? Why are people doing this to me? Why are people doing that to me? Because you belong to God. Because you're standing against You got to pick a side, y'all. Okay, y'all, I brushed my teeth twice. After I brushed them the first time, I, I put more toothpaste on the toothbrush and brush them again. But anyway, y'all, you can't be friends with the world and mm. And water cold. Too cold. You can't be friends with the world and try to please God. Because there's going to be a conflict of interest. You have to pick a side. You have to pick a side. And I'm going to always pick the side of God, the side of Christ, the side of righteousness, the side of holiness, and I don't have I don't care in me picking God and Christ if I have to stand alone. I don't care. And not all Christians are going to be as bold as you or not all Christians are going to pick a side. Not all Christians are going to speak out against wrong. Some Christians or some people, they still try to straddle the fence. And the Bible say he'd rather for you to be cold or hot. But lukewarm, when you try to straddle that fence, you don't realize you picked a side without picking a side. So I'd rather make it known what side I'm on. Then to just sit there and say, I'm being neutral. Being neutral. See, you could be objective. But when it comes to some things, you can't remain neutral. Hold on, y'all. Let me get this water. water it's real hot so I'm gonna have to pour y'all see that steam I'm gonna have to pour some cold water in there uh, being neutral might work Ooh, I need to put that in my face over this steam Mm. Being neutral white might work in some situations. But in some situations, you cannot be neutral. You have to pick a side. You have to pick a side. 
what I look like wanting my friend to side with my enemy and say, oh, I'm, I'm just staying neutral. Well, you got to pick a side. God say you can't love two masters. You're going to hate one or love the other. So, if you want to stay neutral, you stay over there. I'm going to help you. And see, that's what people don't realize. You don't want to pick a side, but if it was you and the shoe was on the other feet, you would want somebody to defend you, take up for you. And I don't understand that. Like, people could defend you, take up for you, and pick a side, but when it comes to you, Picking a side and standing with them on your side or just with them like they would do you. You just want to be neutral because you're a coward. you scared of, you really scared of the other person. So a lot of people choose not to fully acknowledge that they're on the side of God and they still dibble and dabble with the world because they're scared of the judgment of the world. They still want to be friends with the world because they scared that Satan, because those people to them look so powerful and they're scared of the wrath of that person. Well, I'm not scared of the wrath of nobody. I'm scared of the wrath of God. So anyway, y'all, let me take my bath. And after I get cleaned up and put on my clothes for the day, I'll be back. Y'all, this water is so, ooh, it's so freaking warm. It's so hot, like I like it. I added a little bit of cold water to it, just a little bit. And I still got that hot water over there, if I want to make it a little hotter. But uh, I'm bathing with, let me show y'all what I'm using. I think I had one of these left, aloe vera rose water. I had bought those from uh, Kroger. They had them on sale one time for 89 cents. I think it was 89 cents and you buy, if you buy five, you get them for 89 cents. I should have bought <laughs> like 20 of them and put the rest of them at my friend's house. Because that's cheaper than what I'm paying for my VO5 that I bathed with. The VO5 used to be $0.79 and $0.89 cents per thing. But now, they done went up to a dollar. Some places like a dollar eighteen or something like that. So, the next time I catch that Suave on sale for $0.89, cents, I'm going to stock up on it um i don't bathe with a towel anymore y'all when i go to the shower i bathe with my brush exfoliating my skin daily uh that brush gets your skin cleaner so only when i take my bath in the van do i bathe with a towel and I'm going to go over my body several times go over my body several times and I start with my face get your face out the way first I start with my face and wash my face now, if you're going to exfoliate with grits like I do, and you're doing van life, you're probably going to want to do a separate thing of water for your face and your teeth like I just did. And uh, a separate thing. For the back, so you won't have those grits 
in your bath water. I make sure I wash my back real good and my neck. You got to get all them 2,000 parts of your body. <sighs> I'm running late, y'all. I didn't do what I wanted to do today. But anyway, thank God for another day. And I'll get as much done as I can. I think I'm gonna go to Nordstrom's Rack today and do a walkthrough and maybe Ross on this side of town. Each side of town may have the same stores, but they carry different items. Some stores are nicer on some sides of towns than other ones and it's going to have different stuff in stock because the income bracket on certain sides of towns are different. And the income bracket over here is probably higher than the other side of town. Anyway, this video gonna be long so i'ma holler at y'all later one more thing uh i keep my heat on in the van when i take a bath even if i turn it off after i take a bath and i'm fully clothed i keep the heat on uh especially when it's a little chilly like if it's hot outside i'm not gonna need the heat on but i keep the heat on because i'm going to get naked and have my birthday suit on. So, uh, especially during this warm weather, I mean, this cold weather, make sure you have the heat on when you take your bath. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Um, wiping my feet and my legs first. And I'm gonna do that a couple of times. Okay, y'all, I'm finished taking the bath and my bath water is still so soapy. It smells good. That stuff I'm using really does smell like rose. That's the bath water after I'm through. It's still soapy, lots of suds and everything. Just a little bit of that stuff go a long way. So y'all, I'm gonna get dressed and get ready to eat because I uh, have not eaten today and I need to take my vitamins before I, uh, I need to eat before I take my vitamins. So I'm going to end this video here because it's going to be long and after I get dressed, then I'm going to, I have some bacon that I bought last night, so I'm going to cook the bacon. So it's going to be a long video, so I just want to end it here. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. Hit always. And be sure uh, to hit the notification bell and hit always so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. And if you are not subscribed, I just said that. And if you want to support the channel, all my information is going to be down in the description box below. My Cash App, my PayPal, my Amazon wish list, and my mailing address. If you want to mail me something, if you want to mail me a greeting card so I can post on my ceiling and everything. But anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Y'all have a blessed day. Today is Wednesday, and I hope y'all are putting God first. I love each and every one of you. Oh, I'm supposed to be... Let me shout out the people that have left comments on my video today. Uh, in the order that it comes up, Miss Sheila, Always Vibrant, Jess, Jenna, uh, Redbone, Jay, Val, Olga, Miss Sylvia, Yes, 
Yes. Um, Miss Miller, Miss D, Miss D, Miss Goody, Miss Vibrant, Miss Mary, Miss Vibrant, Miss Mary, Nikki, Nikki, uh, R Tube, Miss Goody, Lolo, uh, Lisa Michelle. Um, Donna, yes, Nikki, 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 McCray, Amanda, Don, Mary, Fortrista, Lady T, Kim, Rhonda, Mimi, Miss Alice, Miss Alice, Miss Alice, Miss Mary, Miss Mary, Christy, Amanda, Sharon, really, Marion, Miss Miller, Pamela, Miss Sheila, Miss Sheila, Miss Rita, Miss Rita, Leanne, Shanita, 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 I think I'm saying it right, Shanita, uh, Diane, Miss Runda, Miss Runda, Miss Portrista, C, Nikki, and that is it for the last 24 hours. People that left comments on the videos, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys, and have a blessed day. Bye now. Thanks for watching Vanessa's Van Life Journey. Let me put on some clothes because I'm Nikki. <laughs>